Okay, that's all set up. <clears throat> now we get to see just how far we need to go with these uh, motor mount or these um, motor holes, so to speak. Oh golly. Ah, okay. Well, we know the portion of the strife shell and it still needs to go away, which we knew, of course, because it has to get through the strife shell to begin with. Um, boy, it looks like it might be pretty close on the centur on the, uh, the centurion shell, the top, the top hole. Except that it looks like the uh, yeah, it's overlapping this portion a little bit where it breaks and goes into the the stampede part. The motor sticks out just a little bit further, so unfortunately. Need to at least clearance that much. So, <clears throat> so let's put the cage in there and work. Take this guy. And all we need to do is just basically make a mark and see where exactly the uh, motor will stick. Basically find the, uh, the center point of the motor, roughly. And We're just looking for a ballpark, which okay. We well, you know this one's right there. So, um, well, can we dremel that? I don't want to drill all the way through. I just want to get through to the uh, through the sh the strife portion. So we're going to see if we can creep through using the dremel. Boy, that is close. Uh, it feels like there's just barely enough room for it to where it technically will fit, but good luck getting the wires routed. I think we'll have to probably have to open up the top anyway so we can get the wiring in there. But. Oh. Yeah, that's even with <clears throat> even with the, um, the terminals getting pushed over just a little bit. So I think we're gonna have to carve a hole in the side, which is a bummer, like a rather large bummer, because I was kind of banking on not having to and just hoping really hard, but I apparently didn't hope hard enough. So. Now we need to, uh, well, because first and foremost, we're cutting a hole in the side of the, in the side of the shell. And then we get to decide how big of a hole it is and what we can do to cover it up. So, hey, okay. Well, so we don't need that. That goes there, there, there. Rats. Gonna come right through there. Overlap here just a little bit, so it'll be kind of in this area, which at least it's mostly flat, except for this area here. So it shouldn't be too hard. 
to make something. No. Well, okay, well, well, uh. Bummer, that really threw off my groove. So, we'll. Well, for the mocking up part of things, just because I want to be able to make the holes as conservative as possible so we're not eating eating too much area up and then having to build a bigger motor cage or motor cover. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put the stock cage back in so I can see stop it, so I can see the end of the motors through the holes and then just slowly open up the holes to where the, because the basic um, case size is the same. They're, the 180s are longer, of course, but the rough uh, dimension here is obviously the, pretty much the same. So we put the stock cage back in, clunk, clunk, clunk. Then we can look and s make sure that our holes are centered and then be able to just slowly open up the holes just enough for the back of the 180s to stick through. Make sure everybody stays located. Boy, looking through the through the top of the the shell, or through the outside of the shell into the into where the motors are, it looks like there's tons of room there, but apparently there's just barely not enough. These should just drop down the top and right into place. <clears throat> well, that's not too bad, just uh, actually technically that's probably clearance enough. Really all we needed was the, the basically the thickness of the shell. So we don't really need a, a tall cover, we just need just a piece of something. So, at least for that one, looks like we need to go, well, technically, um, nah, I'm gonna open it across, uh, down, move it down just a little bit. In fact, uh, this is a good opportunity for this guy. <clears throat> this guy's sitting in place. Looks like a little bit here and here. Ought to do it. So let's pop this guy up. All right? Come on. Well, you watch it go in. Why don't it come out? Okay. Now the top looks close. Just kind of eyeballing down the top. That looks pretty acceptable. If anything, just a little bit. Right there. Okay, I can work with that, I think. Bummer. Oof. What to do, what to do, what to do. Ooh. 
we may sacrifice one of these. I kicked around the idea when when I was first putting this together and we decided to go with the 180s. I thought, you know, hey, I don't know what the thickness of the shell is going to be. I may have mentioned this earlier, but, um, you know, need to have a, an escape plan, so to speak, for if we need to, you know, add some kind of motor cover. And I thought, hey, we could just stick this on there, but that's a little overkill. But what might happen is we could, like, just cut these little vented panels off and lay them flat. Well... I also do a little digging through the uh, through the parts box and see what kind of clever ideas we can come up with.